Lowen B. I had him on the platform, man. We did an interview. Do you know Lowen B? Yeah, Low from the OFTB. That's my man. <laughs> right, right. I had him on the platform, man. And he said that when Biggie got killed, him, you, and the Outlaws was celebrating Biggie Dove. Is that true? <laughs> you know, um, I don't remember it, but I w he might be right, though. You know what I mean? This is what people fail to realize that um, when when Biggie did die, we it, it didn't like you got our mindset back then. We probably really was celebrating. You understand? Because we lost Pac. So we wanted something to happen back on that side. We wanted something equal. OK, we lost Pac. So when Biggie died, you know what I mean? We wasn't sad at that particular particular time because our mindset was different. You know, me now about to be 46 years old. I can look at it and a Muslim now I look back at it now. I can say it was senseless killing. You know, it's sad that Biggie lost his life. You know what I mean? You have kids. His mother was crying the same with Pops. But back then, of course, that's what we're going to do. We're going to be, you know what I mean? We're not going to be um, sad. You know what I mean? We was in a different type of mindset. So when people say, you know what I mean? When people get upset, because I think I read a few of the comments or people mad, like, how can they do that? They got to realize that this was 27 years ago. We were kids. We lost Pac. We lost, you know, we lost our loved one. And we was in the streets. We had a different mentality. So naturally, we wanted some. We wanted to hear somebody else lost their life because that's our mindset back then. You know what I mean? So he might have been, he, you know, I don't remember, but he might. <laughs> that's how we was back then, unfortunately. And like I said, now looking back at it, when you become mature and you become older, you realize that it was a sad, you know, it was a, it was a loss. It was a, a sad loss, you know what I mean, for both, for both sides. I get it, man. I mean, if anybody is looking at it from a mature point of view, they'll get what you're saying. I mean, Pac, he just got killed. Pac was beefing with Biggie before he got killed. Biggie came to L.A. too soon after Tupac death while everybody was still mourning Tupac. I get it, man. I mean, he in L.A. promoting life after death like he didn't care Tupac was dead. Hey, I mean, I get it, man. Yeah, we was we was up like we st like Biggie came in L.A. and was dissing Pac on the radio. So of course, if you if we close to Pac and we we hearing this, we like man like so when he died, we we just felt like he had that coming because of how he was moving and you know what I mean. So at that particular time in his life, of course, we, I won't sit here and lie and say no, nah, man, we were sad. No, we I would we I wanted more people to fall because that was my mindset back then. You know what I mean? Like we we in the midst of a war, bro. Like you know what I mean? It don't take it takes maturity, it takes people to change their lives to step away from that ignorant cycle to realize that, you know, these young people losing their life is a sad thing. But you got to realize we was in the midst of this ignorance. Like now I can look at it and say all of this, at the end of the day, it all stemmed for something ignorant. You know what I mean? That something should have been avoided. Like we the only culture, I believe, uh, one of the few that, 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 that take each other life so easily. We can, as an individual that's 46 years old, I look at it and say, this is sad how we, we deal with each other. But back then, that our mindset was different. So people can't hold us accountable the way we was thinking back then in the middle of just losing a loved one. You understand? We just lost Pac, so that's how we was thinking back then. But how did that make you feel, man, when Biggie was on the radio rapping Long Kiss Goodnight? Because a lot of people feel like he was taking shots at Pac on that song. Of course, man, we was young, angry. You know what I mean? We was angry. You know, we hand him on the radio, dissing Pac, so... You know, to look back at it, we was upset. Like we, you know what I mean? Like, um, I remember one of the deaf folk, one like Sugar and them had a security on us, and the security guard came to the hotel. He wouldn't let us leave because we wanted to go. You know what I mean? We wanted to, um, we wanted to go around looking for these jokers, but he wouldn't let us leave. Like, and he was a police officer, and he's like, "Nah, if y'all do leave, I'm coming with you guys." You know, so he knew. He was an older guy that he probably knew we was we was acting off of emotion, so we probably would got ourselves in trouble. We did ride past the, <laughs> the you know, when we did leave, we did ride past that, um, what is it called, where they had the after party. You know what I mean? We rode past it a couple of times just looking, and, and, and but we was angry. We felt like it was disrespect, you know what I mean? Because, as I said, let's look back at it from our mindset in 96, 97. Mindset totally different now. So people, because you got you got some crazy uh, fans, uh, are like they got to realize this, like the stuff we, what we talking about now, we talking about what happened in 96, 97. You know what I mean? These jokers acting like we want to dig Biggie out the grave and, and do something to him. No, 
That's not what we talk about. In 96, 97, we just lost Pac. We are a bunch of young individuals who are, to me, misguided and, and, and living in a, a circle of ignorance. You understand? So we wanted retaliation. We wanted, like, you know what I mean? Pot died. We want somebody on their side to die. That's just the mentality of what we was going through at that time. You know what I mean? So when that's why I said, so when Biggie passed away, like Low said that we probably were celebrating, we probably was because that was our mindset. We felt like they got one of us. Now we got one of them. So it was almost like an even playing field right now. Uh, and that's just our, our mindset that I, I, I believe we conditioned like that in the hood. You know, the way we grew up in the hood, we conditioned like that. Now we look back at it and say, man, this is a crazy cycle that, you know what I mean? We probably the only, you know, a fist fight, a person would just take somebody's life like it's nothing. But back then, we that was just part of the program. And he did admit that he was celebrating with y'all. So it's not like he was only putting y'all on blast. So It's not even that we put it on blast because at the end of the day, that was 26, 27 years ago that that that, you know what I mean? They probably were celebrating with Pac died, but they just so sneaky, they probably... You know what I mean? When let nobody like they, you know what I mean? They, I'm talking about the bad boy dudes. Like they probably was also celebrating with Pac died, because it was clear that after Pac died, they started getting comfortable coming to LA, dissing them on the radio. So that shows that they was happy Pac was gone. But at the end of the day, just so people can understand, like, you know, um, that was back then. That was twenty some years ago. Now we all grown. We have kids. You know. Um, so the my, my mentality is not the same. Like I look at it now, like it was a loss. Biggie loss was a loss, like a huge loss. The same as Pac, you know what I mean? His mother, he have kids, but back then that wasn't what we was thinking about. So I just wanted to clarify that. 